Hello, this is Matt on the Moon Lambo channel, and I'm sure that most of you are aware that the XRP price breakout, especially over the last 30 days, has been just completely insane. It's up last I checked like 62% over the last 30 days, and I, I suspect this is just the beginning. But uh, what's fascinating, in part, well, there's a lot of things fascinating with this, but uh, we haven't talked about this much. A lot of this actually is coming from uh, institutional entities. Do you guys remember this this uh, piece I covered in a video probably close to three weeks ago, because yeah, it was July 12th here. Uh, crypto giant Grayscale boosts Bitcoin and Ethereum exposure at the expense of XRP, uh, BCH, and Litecoin in large cap fund. And I'll, I'll give you a little refresher on this once I really get rolling in the video, but my suspicion was was right, which was ultimately that even if they're changing the weight and it's at the detriment of XRP in terms of the way that they're weighting their portfolio, I suspected that in terms of actual quantity of XRP, it would probably increase. And I covered that in my video on the topic. And wouldn't you know it, Moon Lambo nailing it. Pat myself on the back right now. And if you can hear that, that's me patting myself on the back because Moon Lambo got it. Look at this headline. XRP trust volume of dr Grayscale doubled last week. Well, I will be gosh darned. But before we go any further, if you would please delicately tap that like button, I would certainly appreciate it. And also, uh, if, if you would subscribe to the Moon Lambo channel, because otherwise I'm just going to be stressed out trying to figure out why I'm not good enough for you. Tell me, what am I doing wrong? All right, let's dive in. Uh, oh yeah, here's a tweet from Frecky. Shout out to you, Frecky. Uh, he shared, shared this. He wrote, uh, my portfolio manager, uh, traditional markets and now in crypto for last uh, 1.5 years, just texted me. Looks like he's excited based on what he sees. Been in the business managing millions over 25 years. I, I was glad to see this text from him. And here's, here's the text and there's a little chart on the screen as well. And so this individual wrote, that's a breakout. Look at the volume exploding. Compared to other cryptos breaking, XRP has way more relative volume. And uh, Frecky then wrote, this is also the same friend I mentioned that bought 750,000 XRP uh, that, of course, some didn't believe. Uh, believe what you want. Well, I don't have any reason to believe that you're lying, so I'm going to go ahead and believe. <laughs> Our, you know, <laughs> that's, that'd be a weird thing to lie about anyway. Um, but uh, it, it's fascinating what's happening here. Guys, that's why, like, some people, because of this, I suspect are going to have extreme wealth. Like, talk about a wealth transfer, man. Crypto is it. Now, um, I, I should say also, you know, I, I don't have a financial background, so I understand, like, I'm not offering financial advice. Um, don't buy or sell because of me. Uh, I'm happy to share my opinions, but understand I'm just a member of the XRP community that has fun uh, putting YouTube videos together because I just feel like this is like a very engaging to topic. Like anything related to Ripple, Crypto, XRP, so that is all that uh, this is. Um, next, uh, here's a tweet from um, from All The Way Await. And, um, and he tagged me along with a couple others and wrote, Seeing these two lines heading in opposite directions is a beautiful thing. May it continue for many, 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 many more months. And so what's he talking about here? Let's get this full screen here. And, and this is something I have talked about, and it's, it's interesting to highlight this. If you're looking at the screen, uh, you can see that this white line on the chart, that is Bitcoin dominance. And it's been de uh, decreasing. And then the green line is market cap, which has been increasing. And so I certainly suspect based on especially, well, a couple things. Many chart analysts believe that you're going to continue to see Bitcoin dominance decrease. And um, a big part of that would be because of this concept of alt season, which I, I still suspect is coming. I don't see any reason to believe that history won't repeat itself. But if you do take a look at history, uh, absolutely, uh, it's, it's very clear that there have always been these cycles of, of uh, dominance exchanges where you know, Bitcoin's up and then, and then altcoins just kill it. And that's why it, at some point... During the last major bull run, Bitcoin dominance got down to like 34% or somewhere thereabout. Don't be surprised if we see that again. Um, next, uh, shout out to Pucci for tagging me in uh, in this this next piece about um, XRP trust volume of Grayscale doubling last week. And this is, we're talking about institutional money. I mean, effectively, I don't know if this is how they, I can't remember if this is how they describe themselves. Sometimes these, these funds have weird labels for themselves. But, uh, I mean, it's, it's basically a hedge fund, right? 
So institutional money, this, this is what we're talking about when we're talking about institutional money, certainly in part. Well, what did they do? For a quick refresher here, uh, they, they, they weighted their portfolio differently to the detriment of XRP, which really has not done well for them over the last 60 days. But I mean, hey, they, I'm sure they're a bunch of smart dudes and I, I guess they know what they're doing. <laughs> but I, I just don't think that uh, Bitcoin is going to be outperforming uh, XRP once once the next market cycle is complete i think when you look back you'll see that it's just my and again not financial advice i'm just sharing my opinion i think that you'll see that xrp returns will dwarf the returns of bitcoin and it has a, a lot to do with the fact that xrp simply is less liquid and so you can think about how much money it ha would have to flow into bitcoin to double its price versus how much has to flow into xrp to double its price it's, it's not even close right and so you can see here, here's what uh grayscale did uh, they they reduced XRP's weight from 5% of the portfolio down to 3.6%. So they, they decreased it by 1.4% and then they increased Ethereum and Bitcoin holdings. And so, you know, look, I understand they're just going to make a fortune regardless. The next market cycle got it. But uh, it, I, I made the point. I was like, geez, I don't believe it. We'll see if I'm wrong. I, I doubt it, though. I, I just I can't imagine XRP not outperforming Bitcoin. And if I had to guess, probably Ethereum, too. And, and a lot of that, again, has to do with how liquid markets are. I mean, there's there's other factors, too, but still, that's that's a big one. It, it really legitimately is. That's why you can see these tens of thousands percent percent gains from from small cap coins. And I'm not interested in investing in them because they don't do a damn thing. But I, I'm just saying, if you hit a winner, yeah, I could outpace XRP. Fine. But again, I, I personally am not interested in that. Um, so so we, we shall see here. But um, their holdings are just freaking huge here. So you can see, I think it was listed here. Yeah, total assets under management, and this is as of uh, July 10th, uh, it was $4.1 billion. That, that's freaking massive. But all this is increasing. Take a look at this. So that brings us to this, this article today. today uh. um, XRP trust volume of Grayscale doubled last week. Grayscale Investments, one of the most vocal crypto newsmakers of Q2 2020, has shared new statistics of its managerial assets. Here's why the last week was crucial for Grayscale. And then they have this little subheading, Grayscale bets on XRP, Litecoin, uh, Bitcoin Cash. The Grayscale team periodically updates its statistics on managerial assets the price per share, and its net value. It continues to grow its assets under management, or AUM for short, aggressively with a focus on some perspective assets. And you can see here is a tweet that was updated on July 31st here. And they're, sh they're, they're sharing uh, <laughs> the current numbers. Uh, 731.20 update. Net assets under management, holdings per share, and market price per share for our investment products. Total assets under management, $5.2 billion. Again, it was at $4.1 billion just weeks prior. Now it's up to $5.2 billion. Institutional money, my friends. This is massive. Absolutely massive here. And this is going to increase. I'm telling you, I know Grayscale has been around for a while, but there, there will be, just wait till the, the rest of the legacy financial world hops into crypto in mass. What do you think is going to happen when even like 1% of their funds flow into crypto. It's going to be freaking nuts. I'm so thrilled to be here early. I can only imagine what this is all going to be worth another one, two, three decades. It's going to be nuts. It's going to be a fun, fun, fun ride, I think. I mean, for those of us that have the stomach for it, some people are freaking out over XRP going down by like four cents the other day. But anyway, I'm just saying. But uh, last week, the net volume of Grayscale's managerial assets surpassed its monstrous level of $5 billion for the first time. Grayscale mostly added to its Bitcoin holdings. The flagship cryptocurrency segment surged from $3.7 billion to $4.4 billion, increasing by $700 million. The XRP and Bitcoin cash positions have almost doubled in the last days. The, check that out. Did you hear that? Doubled. Uh, we're talking about XRP here. The volume for XRP trust has increased from $3.1 million to $6.2 million while Bitcoin Cash Trust has increased from 8.6 million to 16.8 million. And so I made the point when I, when, I, when I was talking about the way that they changed how they weight their portfolio, I made the point a few weeks ago that even with uh, that 1.4% decrease, which to me is, 
questionable. Maybe you should have gone in the other direction, <laughs> especially over the last 30 days. It would have done you well. But uh, I still made the point that more XRP, even so, especially with the rally coming, is going to be, uh, it's, it's going to be increasing. So here you go. It's, it's doubled, right? And so they note that the, uh, the constant growth of the Litecoin trust allocation is another significant asset for the Grayscale portfolio. Hedge fund managers increased their Litecoin positions from 5.7 million to 13.5 million. Uh, it has been also stressed that the shares for the Bitcoin Cash Trust and Litecoin Trust haven't met the requirements of the depository trust company's eligibility criteria. And then they have this subheading, which is interesting food for thought, unique vehicle or dangerous bubble. A grayscale investments is a one-of-a-kind instrument that provides exposure to the cryptocurrencies markets by eliminating the necessity to buy digital assets directly. Uh, therefore, its clients can benefit from the movements within the crypto markets by trading shares of trust just like ordinary over-the-counter stocks. Uh, Grayscale offers single asset Bitcoin, Ethereum, XRP, and uh, integral digital large cap trusts. Its most popular product is the Ethereum Trust Share, which saw an insane rally between the months of May and June 2020. However, some prominent analysts have expressed their concerns about the overhyped performance of Grayscale products. X Masari's, I'm going to butcher this name because it's foreign to me, Q Wang, eh, I tried, uh, highlighted that the terms of the service in Grayscale lack, lack a redemption uh, mechanism. Wang also emphasized that uh, the, the fact that buying the ETHE provides, that's the Ethereum one, provides investors with no liquidity or taxation benefits as compared to buying ethers through usual means fair enough points and so we'll see i mean i, I i'm not saying that i think it's going to end well i just thought it was interesting food for thought i'm not saying it's going to go i'm not saying this is going to go bad I'm not, I'm, I'm, I'm not but there are all sorts of ways to purchase to get exposure to the crypto asset class that'd be the right way to word it and it's like this is an instrument for people this is one way to approach it and Look, you have stuff like this in in traditional finance. So to me, I mean, could it go poorly? Okay, fine. But this is just like the types of behaviors that you're already seeing in traditional finance. It's just being extended to crypto. It seems to me like a natural evolution. So I just thought I'd mention it. I don't have some huge problem with it, but there we are. You can tell me if you think I'm wrong, though. But that's it for this video. I am not a financial advisor. Do not buy or sell anything because of anything that I say or write. That would be a very, very, very bad idea. Until next time. To the moon, Lambo!